Dispatch, can you remind us the name of uh, Queen Meanie's other half? Thank you. The father of its child. They don't know what I'm talking about. Mark the Nark. Mark the Nark. And what creature is it exactly? Mark the Nark is a delightful unicorn. A delightful unicorn. Roger that. All right, so what, what's, what's the okay. story with so, Queen Meanie? Yeah. So the story is, and you should we'll go over there and have a look at her. We give out year patches. Last year, I was a bit late getting it, but I should have got a 25 year patch a while ago. So they wanted to do a big ceremony and invite a load of people so that they could embarrass me in front of a bigger crowd. Um, but they didn't want me to know that was gonna happen. So they faked this tea party that was gonna be between Queen Meanie, which is um, that lady over there, and Mark the Nark, a delightful unicorn. And they set up a table in the middle of QM and they had the, the big tea party or something written on it and they laid out a teapot and cups and things and it was all a big ruse so that I wouldn't get suspicious <laughs> about why there was going to be a gathering in QM later on. And then because I'd just come from the UK and I was jet lagged about an hour before the ceremony, I was like, I'm just going to go and take a nap. And they're like, make sure you come back. And his only job, apparently, was to make sure I was here at the time. <laughs> and he just let me go, didn't say anything. It's like, okay, see you in a bit, but make sure you come back at five. And yeah, four hours later, I came back and it was all over and everyone had showed up for this big event. Oh, good. Which I never, you know, D <laughs> DT came down and all the department heads came down. Because the ceremony for a 25 is you get married to the conference. Oh, so goodness. I go through this whole ceremony of saying, will you take this conference to be your whatever? <laughs> Actually, we're going to do one tonight. So if you want to film that. Who's that for? That is for G Mark Hardy. Oh, perfect. Um, so, no, sorry, not G Mark, because um, that's another one. It's secret. It's a secret. <laughs> um, but no, you'll, you'll see it. Oh, so that's great. Come about. 7.45 to Hacker Jeopardy and we're going to bring him up on stage and marry him to the Hacker Jeopardy audience. Oh, that's perfect. Cool, that's it. What does QM do? Well, QM is uh, for Quartermaster Stores. Basically, we are the living brain and body of DEF CON behind the scenes. Before the conference begins, we all show up on the previous Saturday. We then spend an entire day unloading trucks and trailers, sorting it, making sure it's all inventoried. And then when different crews come in, we basically give them all their product. We make sure we understand and, and scan out where it's all going to. And then when it comes back, we have to repalletize it, get it ready for movers, put it back into storage. And hopefully if it's all packed correctly, we end up having it back next year in the same condition. It's, it's a ton of work. It's like everything from Def Con needs is here. It leaves, it gets checked out, and then it gets packed and put back, and it's filled. You have arcade machines and projectors and signs and everything. Literally, this is awesome. literally everything. And if we don't have it, we can typically acquire it within a short period of time. Yep. When someone comes to us with a request, there's really no unreasonable request. As long as it's for the conference, we can typically go about getting it. And we tend to also like to have a bit of fun. So sometimes you might see us adding googly eyes to some of the products or as you saw on the, the one side, how we have Queen Meanie and she sits there and watches over us during the uh, time. What are, what are we doing next? Well, there's a couple different ones. There's two at QM. Okay. One is we have to find $2.73 at QM. The other one is we have to bring butter snatch, avocado and onions. So I think we need to go find avocado and onions. All right, let's do it. Are you able to get me $2.73 USD worth of loose change in mixed currency. I think we can definitely handle that. We're just going to have to make sure one of our runners out there is able to collect it for you. Thank you very much. Yeah. We'll see you later. So I can't record in the casino. It's against po policy. So we're going to go out into a restaurant and I'm going to order a side of onions and avocado, which is Vegas, so it's probably not that weird. Meanwhile, well, we're all the way back in the back corners of QM, and I want to find the weirdest stuff I can find back here. Let's see what we can dig out, huh? There's a lot of arcade machines back here. I've never seen disassembled skee-ball. That's kind of neat. Lots of projectors. Anything you need back here. What is this? This is a, we got scanner boxes, label makers. What is the weirdest thing you've ever been asked for in QM? I don't think it's particularly weird, but the, uh, I guess the most outlandish request we had 
The way we work, we have a, an external runner crew that will get in a vehicle and go and buy stuff. So if we like urgently need five TVs or whatever. We were asked for 10,000 AAA batteries. And so we put in our little shopping channel, we just have a Slack channel and we drop things in and while they're out there, they grab it, they come back and they're like, ha ha ha, you said okay. 10,000. And we're like, yes. What was that for, the ba badges? Yeah, the badges came, they were supposed to have packs of two batteries and they only had one in, or they were supposed to be packs of four, and we got packs of three, so we had to make up the extra one. So. Oh my gosh, in QM... And when you're dealing with this, the numbers are big, so... In QM delivered. Yeah, so they were literally driving back with a car kind of down on its springs. They're lucky they didn't get pulled because they thought it was full of explosives or oh, something. Shit. And this car was like riding on its rims, coming in, like emptying out oh, the back. Here's, here's the next <laughs> batch, and then going out, right, where's the next shop we can buy something from? They cleaned out Vegas, basically. Oh, that's Drove great. around buying batteries. So. Oh, that's great. Perfect. Thank you. No worries. Buttersnatch avocado and onions. This makes me so happy, okay, because I've been waiting all day to have my damn sandwich, and now I can make my burrito sandwich with my avocados and onions. Yes! <laughs> Thank you.